All right, so I thought I had the camera on when I was putting the bracket, but I didn't. I bet. But it's already in place. I'm not going to take it out and put it back on. We're just going to go ahead and put it in the car. That's what it looks like. Yep. That's it right there. I like it. I like the, the way it sits. So let me set this up in a way to where y'all can see what goes on. I think that's pretty good right there. So that's it. It's hot in there, but we gotta go. All right, so let me take this out so you can see what it goes on. So that's where it's looking like. Right now, let me put this in place. And then I'll try to slide the seat back and see what's gonna do. Oh. Okay, let's do it from the back. where we can actually see what's going on. There you go. Just for now. So let's see. Got to slide this thing back. Seat belt. Oh, that's nice. Yep. Yeah. Very, very nice, y'all. It's tight on this side, though. So, the first try, it was too far this way, and this thing was bumping, so this thing had multiple ports. So I just placed it on the next one that will make sense it's not like i ever have people riding around with me anyways <laughs> now let's go and get the right tool to tie this up let's use the wrench what size y'all think i don't know we're gonna go with this one I'm really liking the way these cars, the things are looking, y'all. Yeah. Very excited about it. Anyway, let's go. Good. Slide back. Do you have aftermarket seats on your car? What kind are they and do you like them? Honestly, I don't know what brand these are. I just like the way they look. But I think, I think uh, they look like replicas to brown, brown seats. They look just like them. I pay right around 400 bucks for both, which is a fraction of the price of a original one. But hey, I 
Why did I not bring the socket wrench? Okito. Okay. Okay, that one. So I can put the camera right there. Taking the factory seat out was kind of challenging. It was heavy, had all kinds of wires attached to it. Obviously the heat seat heater and all the electronics to it. Putting these things back on there, it was really, really easy actually. It's not bad at all. Let's go that one. I have been looking online as far as the Lexus IS300 community and I have found out that the community is pretty harsh amongst with each other. There is like a roasting phase going on half the time uh, just because of what it is you know people a lot of people do think that it is a 2JC GTE they get roasted by the ones that know that it is not and it <laughs> I find it very comical y'all. Uh, it's interesting to say the least some of the conversations i having on social media with uh, the lexus is 300 platform um not some some very helpful tips i'm not gonna lie but then there are the ones that are just full of baloney you know okay so that feels pretty good right there let me see this has to go where? Where you gotta go? Not you, not you. Well, this is for the seat belt thingy. I don't see a plug, so it's gonna have to stay like that. Or wait, there's another plug right there. Don't look like that one either. Oh well. Okay. Let's do it. There you go. Oh man, this is comfortable. I like it. There you have it. Brand new seat, approximately a 30 minute operation. Uh, not hard at all, not difficult at all. But initially I had to take just them four bolts, uh, took the seat out and that's about it. Nothing major, nothing major. So, again, I recommend it if you can afford them, if you can get them. Very, very easy to do. Very, very good looking result. Very happy with results. So, there you go. Y'all be safe out there. And just quickly, I'm gonna give y'all a quick peek at what's coming. What the next thing we're doing is the flares. But anyways, y'all be safe now.